Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Newsgram. Our body is an amazing and wonderful thing. It's a finely tuned machine, and it's constantly in a state of repair, trying to fix what we've done to it. It's also designed to ward off bacteria and other things that are trying to make us sick. And every now and then, it stumbles, for various reasons, so we go to the doctor for help. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's what we've been conditioned to do since, what, the 17th century? But today I'm going to introduce you to Libby McCougan. She says, hold on a minute. There's more to think about here. When you get down to the root of everything in our world, it's all energy exchanging information with itself. So the body and the mind are no different. The cells of the body and the system of the body is immeasurably intelligent. Like It has its own natural intelligence. It just knows what to do. It knows how to beat our hearts, grow our hair, heal our cuts, and we don't have to think about that. When you consider the magnificence of our human system, it's got, what, 37 trillion cells in each of us, which you can't imagine trying to coordinate that and that number of interactions for not just one deadline, but for trillions of deadlines, you know, every day for a lifetime. It's just mind-blowing to consider what's going on and recognizing that there is an intelligence that coordinates things that is bigger than our mind so there's something else in there that we we often overlook and if you said it's god i wouldn't necessarily argue with you but that's not where we're going today those kinds of interpretations are unique and individual but on today's program we're just going to ask you to look beyond the walls of intellect of what you think you know to the infinite space of wisdom, to what you don't know yet. Through her gentle guidance, your best life unfolds, and you realize the whole universe is on your side. That is Libby McCougan, with some pretty profound wisdom from her book, The Power of the Lemon. And I'd like to read to you the foreword, because it does a great job of explaining what we're talking about here, which is the power of our thoughts. And it begins with an exercise. Imagine you're in your kitchen. On a wooden chopping board in front of you is a large, plump yellow lemon. Take a knife. Cut it carefully into quarters. See the juice spill out onto the wood? Breathe in its sharp, citrusy scent. Lift one of the lemon segments to your mouth. Feel the fleshy capsules bursting with liquid as it touches your lips. Now, take a bite. What happens? If you're like most people, your cheeks pucker, your saliva glands cave in, and your mouth waters like a running tap. You might shiver or wince. Your body has an immediate, visceral, and very real response to what, a lemon? No, to a thought about a lemon. The power of the lemon is that it shows us the power of thought. This is the doorway to our inner power. The lemon is one of our greatest teachers. Not only does it illustrate in real, physical terms that we are experiencing our thoughts, it also points us to the power of our creativity in shaping our reality. There is no lemon. Simply, the act of focusing on a thought about a lemon shapes our experience in that moment, and our body responds immediately, as if the lemon was real. Do you see the power of thought? Think of a sad memory, and your body produces tears. Think of someone you're in love with, and your heart rate goes up. And think of the placebo effect. If we're working from a mechanistic standpoint, giving someone a placebo should not affect them. But it does. Taking a placebo alters brain activity that we can see on functional MRI scanning. That clip from Libby was taken from her TEDx talk on YouTube, and it was truly inspiring. If you want to see it, just Google Libby McCougan TED Talk, or look at this show's description. I put a link in there for you. In that clip, she's talking about the placebo effect. It's not supposed to work, but somehow it does. Because there is real power in believing and knowing that anything is possible. Throughout my career, I was 20 years as a doctor and about 10 years as an emergency room attendant. I kept meeting people who were improving against the odds with conditions that medicine can't cure. So it got me really curious about what are we missing? 
there's something that these people are doing that we haven't worked out yet. Also in her TEDx talk, she gives some very specific examples, like Colin. Colin from Liverpool, who had an inoperable brain tumour and was given just a few weeks left to live. When he saw his brain scans, he began imagining his tumour shrinking. That was 15 years ago, and he's been clear since. So rather than dismissing these occurrences as anomalies or one-offs, she decided to leave her job in 2013 and then spend all of her time learning from these amazing people who are recovering from inoperable brain tumors, end-stage cancer, brainstem strokes, locked-in syndrome, those kinds of things, where the typical recovery rate is very low and very slow, if at all. It kick-started a journey for me that took me through from what I thought I understood about the body and who we are as human beings and how it all works. It kind of broke that open and took me on a journey through philosophy, psychology, physics, and really round full circle into the power of the human spirit. I should clarify something here before there's any misunderstanding. Her book and this show are just designed to offer information of a general nature to help you in your quest for emotional and spiritual well-being. It's not a medical show, and we don't claim to have a cure for chronic conditions. We're just presenting Libby's experiences and the things that she witnessed that could not be explained, and the things that led her to document the findings that you'll see in her book. The point is, we're not trying to dispense any medical advice here or prescribe the use of any technique as a form of treatment for physical, emotional, or medical problems. For those things, we still recommend seeking the advice of a physician. But Newsgram is all about fascinating people living their lives in interesting ways. And sometimes we find someone or something that goes beyond interesting to mesmerizing. And that's what I thought about her work and the power of our thoughts really around empowering people to connect with that space within them where they will find their own wisdom and their own empowerment. It's helping people connect with their true nature, which is where that that lies. Her book is a gentle and powerful guide into learning who you really are. And this is going to get a bit deep, but uh, what the heck, you've stuck with me this far. So listen to one of Libby's realizations. I think the most important realization that I had and that I, I think people have when they, when they look in this direction is that our experience is created from thought, you know, the whole thing. So our experience of life, how we feel about life, um, the meaning we make from it is all thought. So the power in that, really stepping back and seeing the power in this and Importantly, recognizing that we are not our thoughts. We can kind of assume that the thoughts I have are just who I am, but actually that's not the case. Who we are is the one observing the thoughts. So it brings us back to this place of stillness and peace within us, which is really a place of observation and a place from which we can decide and discern where we're going to place our focus. And that's a game changer. Linger on that for a minute. How often do we obsess about a problem or an illness? By doing so, we give it more power than it deserves. Take, for example, the illness of stress. When you give it power, it does not go away. Instead, your nervous system continues to react to it, causing even more physical problems. It's an unending spiral. And Libby's observations are a way out of that spiral. There's so much more to discover beyond our old assumptions. Imagine the freedom of living your best life unencumbered by doubt. How it happens is the adventure you're here to live. There is so much more to life than that which we are aware. And we can tap into all of it by just being positive. By focusing on love instead of hate. By allowing our thoughts to settle and feel the experience of that inevitable shift in our state of being. That's where the power is. That is where peace lies. The Power of the Lemon by Libby McCougan. It's a collection of musings and bite-sized bits of wisdom that I think you're going to enjoy. Here's one that I actually knew, but it did make me smile to read it out loud. Have you noticed that your best ideas occur when you're doing something else? 
like having a shower or driving? Left to themselves, thoughts settle down, and our mind clears on its own, making space for new thought. Keep a light touch. There's no need to interfere. There's one line that I think is probably one of the most powerful things I've ever learned. Uh, And here we go. It says, attention is your superpower. What you give your attention to comes to life. We think we're observing the world. We're not. We're creating it. Whether we create the same things day in, day out, is up to us. When we realize we're creating in every moment, we can use our superpower for good. Begin to shift your focus towards what you would prefer to experience for yourself and others, and watch what happens. This edition of Newsgram was written and produced on the eve of Christmas 2023. So I guess I'm finding myself a little bit in the spirit, but I do wish you peace and a long and happy life. The Power of the Lemon is a perfect reminder that our experience is created by our thoughts. So enjoy a good comedy. Listen to your favorite kind of music. Think healthy thoughts and be well. It's a guide to help point you to a deeper awareness of who you really are, toward your own wisdom and the light which is eternal and within you. It's a reminder of just how supported and loved we all are. As you might expect, The Power of the Lemon is available everywhere you like to buy books. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, it's by Balboa Press. And that will do it for this edition of Newsgram from webtalkradio.com. Newsgram.